do I start the car? It's already started, but should I drive the car? Well, this is Forza, so yes, I should. Um, this is the Lexus RCF Vosser Sullivan. We'll just call it the RCF GT3. And um, somehow it, it sounds like a beautiful wet shirt. I, I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying. Um, I, I'm assuming we could put a 2J in this. There's actually a lot of engine swaps. Okay. So, the stock 5.4 liter V8. I was not expecting that big of an engine. Especially like a 3 liter. A 2J. If this is 2J, then what are the other engines? LFA V10. That would actually work really well in this. An Aventador V12. Ferrari V12, or... Yeah. These actually jack up the class a lot, but I know that the V12 can get 1,400 horsepower. The 2J can only get 1,200. The LFA V10, I want to say, gets like 1,070, I forget. But for the hell of it, we're going to keep the stock motor in. Also, the acceleration is really weird on the um rear wheel drive so we'll have to go all it's already on racing slick so we'll keep that i wonder if an exhaust will fix this at all or because like it sounds really weird but sounds really cool at the same time i kind of like it not especially that red line it hits that red line and stays there oh we have our restrictor plates 660 horsepower that's nothing so actually, I guess we will put in um, the V12. Yeah, um, why am I doing this again? I have no idea. Uh, one of my friends, I think, wants to make uh, another thing for his movie. So I'm going to do this, make the video, then I'll help him out. But that's a hundred, that's 1500, not 1400, 1500, because we put that engine in one of the Corvettes, the E-Rays. 1515, it's X-Class. We'll just do that. I, I don't even know why. Like, this is going to be a forgettable car from the car pack, but it's going to be stupid funny. Oh my god, the, the, the theoretical top speed from the gear ratios is 297 miles an hour. Also, this thing is as low as it can uh, possibly go, so, I mean, yeah. Also, with great power comes great need for downforce. So you don't wrap yourself around a fucking tree. Uh, and everything else is fine. I already went ahead. L like last week or something, I made all the uh, SSAS liveries for all the cars. I, I still cannot get over how goofy the uh, Camaro looks. So the one car this week, I have no idea what the rest of the schedule for these cars is going to be. I think I'll do the um, C8.R in the Ferrari next week. Then, during the uh, week after that, I'll do the RS, uh, not the RSR, with the RSR, I'll do the dot .R, or the uh, GT3R, then the AMG GT3, but for now, we need this, the RCF. Alright, now that we have the car out, yeah, for some reason on any of the um, Le Mans cars, or the GT3 slash E cars, you can't open the hood. And I think on some of them, you can open the doors. On all of them, you can remove the trunks. So I'm really curious what the uh, C8.R and the Laugh, and not the Laugh Ferrari, the uh, 488 I'm going to have in store. Why do I keep trying to call it a Laugh Ferrari? Maybe it's because I was watching a video on a Laugh Ferrari earlier. Mm -hmm. But for now, we have a Lexus. So If he 12 powered Lexus, I forgot that was a thing. We have to tune the differential. So it's more rear bias, so you don't get that uh, front wheel tug. Yeah, that's much better. It's also kind of squeamish and unstable, but I feel like this could be really fun. Maybe if you just stiffen the springs a little bit. Like, it, like, 
I'm trying to think. At slower speeds, I have no idea how to test this thing. It's still wheel it's still wheel spinning, so we need to tune the diff even more. It's all about that perfect power balance from front to rear. Like this is good. You can say get through a speed zone. We do need to slow it down a little bit, despite buffing the downforce. Or um just turning it up all the way. It still understeers a little bit, and it, that's not just because of the differential, because you saw it. Oh, okay, that's a new personal best. You saw it was still um, understeering. So it it understeers, but it's it's understeers. It's unstable, but that's what kind of makes it fun to drive. I don't really know how to explain it. This thing is weird. It's also surprisingly really fast. I bet you one of these Lamar cars could maybe get 300 miles an hour. It's a slim chance, but it's not impossible. With how much power you can get out of some of them, I'd say the RCF is our best bet. But I think I should make a dedicated video on that, on what the on what the fastest of those cars is. Don't know what that was. But it's a good car if you just want to have fun. I can't imagine it'd be good for races, but if you just want to rock around in a um, like free roam, then it's definitely gonna be really good for that. I would say that seat.r is probably the, one of the best for events. They probably uh, did some really good stuff on that because it was gonna be one of the most popular, the most popular car in this pack, or that 911R. But this thing is still pretty good too. Like it's kind of underrated. I think it'll still be really, 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 really fun to just drive around. Yeah, this thing's gonna be super fun. Also, I kind of love it. it. Sounds weird, but that's what kind of makes it a really.